Hi, this is Adam Basua. I'm here today to show you all about this new product called Scripture Sticks. Here it is right here. And what this does is, this is the Preach My Gospel edition. And what this does is allow, it's a, it's a, I'll read it here. It says, it's a companion tool for in-depth study of the scriptures and the Preach My Gospel manual. You got 379 pre-printed, clear, self-adhesive labels, not stickers, labels, that will help you to quickly identify the important scriptures and their associated principles and themes using scriptures, scripture chains, which I like scripture chains. And so what I like to do is basically give a little bit of a demonstration. There are all five Preach My Gospel lessons are in here in this one package. So this is a great tool for missionaries, especially, and people that are ready to go on their missions or preparing for the missions. So let me take a few minutes and do a little bit of demonstration so you can see what it's all about. All right, let's do that. Okay, so, scripture sticks. This is the package that you'll see when you buy it. Anyway, so when you open it up, well, actually, before we open it up, let's just take a look here. That's pretty much what I read to you guys earlier. Again, it's called scripture sticks, and this is the Preach My Gospel edition. So, when you open it up, uh, what you get is, uh, well, you got some instructions here, a key to understanding how to use it, key to understanding and then an actual demonstration which which is what I'll be doing in a second but uh, let's look and see what we get we get a quick reference which actually is a nice little kind of hard and you can put that in your scriptures and use it as a bookmark but it's just a quick reference to um, preach my gospel all the key scriptures that are in the product itself and you know the chain that you'll be creating so that's one thing you get and then of course you get a bunch of these labels and these labels again if you look here you can see there's key scripture and then you got a chain this one this chain here in particular only happens to be uh, three scriptures but some of them are longer this one's got six and some of them are super super long look at that one there and that one keeps going out it's pretty long as well so you know everybody knows how to do a scripture chain so it's really easy why don't we go ahead and sit down and I'll use my scriptures themselves to uh, to do a, a nice a nice demonstration. All right, hold on a sec. We'll be right back. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get the very first sheet out of here, which, if you look closely here, it contains lesson number one, and that's where I'm going to start. And if you look really closely here, it says place the next label in the topic group on this key scripture in your book, and the key scripture is 1st Nephi 17.36. I'm not supposed to use this actual label here, but what I'll do is I'll just take this label here and put that under 1st Nephi 17.36. So hold on for a second, I'll pause it, and then I'll come right back and do that. Okay, well, one thing that I, I forgot to mention was that uh, these labels are specifically designed, well, not specifically, but are better designed for the standard edition of the scriptures because in the standard edition, edition of the scriptures, the margin from the edge of the, you know, from the print to the edge is, is a lot thicker than even this one, which is the big version, you know, real big version. So what I'm finding that I've had to do when, as I started doing this was um, I've actually had to cut um, the, uh, or trim the label a little bit, which really honestly isn't that big of a deal. In fact, I'll do it right now so you can see. But if you have standard scriptures, which most, I think, of the students do, most people don't have these, unless you get to be old fogey like me. Um, most people don't have these. They have the standard editions, and this will per fit perfectly in a standard edition. So hold on, and I'll go ahead and get the scissors and show you what I do for mine. Okay, so this first scripture, this first one is going to go under... 2 Nephi 17.36, and in here in the scriptures, uh, I'm sorry, not 2 Nephi, 1 Nephi. 1 Nephi 17.36 is right, right there. So it looks like there's a lot of room there. Maybe I won't need to cut this one, so let me, let me just try it while, while you're watching here. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and grab this. Labels come right off. See how simple that is? And then I will go ahead and stick this next to 1 Nephi 17.36 and that is right there hmm, looks like it looks like it might overlap just a tad you know what I'm just gonna cut the bottom part I'm just gonna cut the bottom part real quick because I'm, I'm kinda anal about stuff like this 
Most people might not care, but but I am. So I'm just going to cut that off, put that in there, and put this right there at 17:36. Boom. So now instead of a real you know messy, not messy, but my own handwriting there, I got a nice what is that? Nice printed margin note. And what it's talking about here, this is the restoration, which is lesson number one, nature of God in Christ. And if you look closely there, the next scripture, 2 Nephi 9, 6, is right there attached to that scripture. So hold on now, we'll go to the second one and see how easy that is. So here I am in 2 Nephi um, 9, 6. So let me go ahead and peel this. Now oh, they really come off easy once you take the first one off. So 2 Nephi 9, 6. And looks like yeah, a little bit too small. I'm going to go ahead and trim it again because that's just me. Because I'm just, you know, kind of crazy like that. Those of you who do know me that are watching this. And uh, let's put this down right here. It's going to be five, nine, six. And we are all good to go. Looks pretty. Looks nice. So there you have it. Pretty much, uh, you know, I think I did a pretty decent job of explaining how it works. And um, now that I've done two, I think it'd be pretty easy to see which, you know, what else I have to do. And there's the next one, and then, of course, the next one. And, wow, this is uh, pretty long. And, actually, it's still going. And, uh, well, there it is. Okay. And then this would be the next set, the next chain. And so you'd start, and you'd start up here with those, and, and that was only for so but anyways uh yeah and as simple as that and then of course your uh, scriptures will look a lot nicer so that's all there is to it uh let me go ahead and pause this and then i'll come back and explain how much it costs and how you can get some all right thanks okay so there you have it i, I hope that demonstration was pretty easy i'm sure it was so uh thanks for taking the time to watch the video now i'm sure you're wondering where you can get these because they are new and well they're actually really cool. This whole package, and there's, you know, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of these, of these sheets worth of chains. Uh, for the whole preach my gospel manual. Uh, the price is twenty five dollars. Not not that much at all, actually. Pretty pretty nice for as what you're getting. And so the way you can get them is my website, mormonstuff.com. And you can go ahead and go right to my site and order it right on my site, and I will ship it out. And usually it takes me about a day or two to get it out to you to actually ship it and it's uh i think it's 628 for shipping so if you want to purchase scripture sticks just go to my website it's madeformormons.com yeah madeformormons.com go ahead and go there uh you can order right on the site and if you have any questions just feel free to call me i'll have my name and my number and uh, uh email address there so you could you could call me if you or email me if you have any questions and i'm looking forward to uh seeing you on the site and i'm gonna try and add things from time to time to <clears throat> build the site up. Right now, all I have is scripture sticks, but uh, anything good that I can find, I'll, I'll add. So keep looking at my site, and hopefully I'll have some good stuff for you. All right, thank you very much. Have a good day. Signing out for MadeForMormons.com.